And they said that I killed the chicken inhumanely, not understanding which certain things are for TV. Who said so? SPCA. SPCA? Yeah, so that. <laughs> so. <laughs> My face. Okay, so SPCA came, at you, came knocking at your door for a ritual you did on a reality show. Yes. I killed the chicken. Well, they didn't come knocking at my door. They called, bombarded me with calls. Unfortunately, the number they were calling is my assistant's number. Yeah. All the classic Revolution albums now available on Spotify, Apple Music, and on all digital music stores. I don't think she needs any introduction. The country knows her. I admire her work. I've been following her work for quite some time. I'm very impressed with everything she's achieved. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, see, I always say DJ Smooth. That's why I'm like, do we still no, say you can DJ Smooth? It's, it's fine. It's like it's there. That's that's you. I even bumped into your series the other day yeah, when yeah. I was packing, and I'm like, oh my god, good. Back then, the good old days. Yeah, my but. my daughter says to me, when you're a grandfather, they're still going to call you DJ Smooth. <laughs> Yeah, because I came up, I was like, do I still say DJ Smooth? But then again, it's a brand. And it's just like you. Coco yeah. Maweni is a brand, right? True. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I said it before in my past interviews. Oh, firstly, thank you for having me. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. I've always wanted to sit down with you. I was wondering, I have been. No, but I don't know. Do you know what know. happened? My guys tried to get a hold of you at first. I think it was early last year. And then they were like, I was like, sometimes I'm going to DM. I'm going to DM. I'm going to DM. I'm going to DM. No, no, not even, not even. I don't know how that happened. And a lot of people say it's difficult to get a hold of me. It can't be difficult to get a hold of me. My address is there. My number is there. I've got three shops in three stores here in Joburg, one in Durban. Um, it's just that I travel a lot. You've got four stores now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Gotta work. You're pushing. You're yes, pushing. Chance. I did say this is a career. Yeah. I didn't leave. New York, leave my life to come back to South Africa, answer my calling and be miserable. Never. Life is what you do with yeah. it. It's not what people expect of you. Yeah. And you know, when you're suffering from Abantu Bazutini syndrome, then you'll never see what your purpose is. How do you know when there is a calling? Well, firstly, I knew there was something wrong with me. Wrong. Yes, I say wrong because Mina, Mangena, Ezozini, or Mangena, Epeshen wasn't because I wanted to. I didn't want it. To me, people who are supposed to be isolated. My my uncle was a healer and he freaked me out all the time. So I grew up. <laughs> he did freak me out. He did because he used to make all these sounds. I guess not as cut being I understand. Yeah. He used to make all these sounds. He used to you know look as if I walk around barefoot. I was just scared of him. But I knew there was something special, or now I'm saying special, but I knew, I would say there's something wrong with me. Because sleep was a problem. The dreams were a problem. I was experiencing things like sleep paralysis. But in a, in a way where, you know, when you can't breathe and you're suffocating, or somebody is physically there to harm you. So I, I, I I felt like, you know what, I could see things, I could feel things. I was scared to sleep. I was scared to, to be around a lot of people because then I felt as if, you know, I couldn't interact properly. 
So to me, it was a curse. I didn't want this. When I found out what my true problem was, and I was told, but I must answer my calling. I said, oh no, I'm not doing that. I ran. I knew from 16 that I had a calling. I was like, no, I come from a good school. I come from a good home. I'm, you know, I'm well cared for. Why must I be like these people? I didn't want to become a healer. I only answered my calling because I wanted to save my son. That's why I'm a traditional healer today. And every time I see Mason, I say, you are the reason why I'm living this life. You are the reason why I push so much. My son has epilepsy. But at the time when he was born, I flew back into this country with my baby. I didn't know what was wrong with my child. Every week my child had an attack of some sort until, you know what, he fell into a deep sleep and he wasn't waking up. And the doctor said, a whole specialist said, we don't know what's wrong with your child. My mom then said, Hambi Obonumund. Mind you, my mom is a stone Christian. We are Anglican goes to church every Sunday, believes Uti, God over anything and everything, who married my father, who's a traditionalist, who believes in Ubungoma, believes Uti Idlos Likona, Fanegas Pasha, Fanegas Trabe, and so forth. And my mom said to me, Tama Bonamutu, because clearly there's something wrong. I went to a healer, but I've always been with that healer for maybe over four years or five years. And he said to me, you know what? These are the things you need to adhere to. You need to answer your calling. And the only reason I'm a Sangma today is because of my son. If it wasn't for him, I don't think I would be here saying Tokoza or, you know, going. No, never. I'd probably still be in America. <laughs> living the dream. Bones are in America. <laughs> I'm a clinical psychologist by profession. Yeah. I studied there. I've been there for four years. Then I got pregnant. And you know what? It was my first baby. So I needed help. Yeah. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Oh, now there's like three of them. Oh, there's three. Congrats. <laughs> yeah. I also want a big family. Yeah. Uh, well, I've, I've got a big family, but obviously I want more children. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I guess you and my husband share some <laughs> form of the same sentiment because he is up in arms. But don't worry, soon we're going to add two more babies nice, on nice. the list. We're having twins. You're having twins? Yeah. yeah. Are you preggies? <laughs> oh! This is Congratulations! This is to be a secret until the but it's a big homies podcast. It's okay. The podcast go put to our kohau. It's okay. You're breaking the news here. I'm sorry, babe. You don't understand how much I want twins, guys. Congratulations. That is great news, though. Yeah, well, it's supposed wow. to be. It's supposed to be a secret until the bump comes out. No, no, I understand. I understand. But it's actually great news. Do, did you? Do you guys have? But do you have twins in the family, or does no. he have twins in his family? You know, we work so hard. The reason why we work so hard is to be able to afford certain things. Yeah. It's, you know, there's IVF. There's, you go and they take out your, your, your egg for the first month. Then they take out your egg second month and then they fertilize it and they put it back. I said, if you want kids, I'm not going to go through pregnancy every time. We had, this was a serious conversation in a household because we, you are talking to somebody Number one, who has children already? Who feels like it's cut some so zala says hambile. Mind I must focus on building Xasala for my kids, you know? And we sat down and he said, I really want kids and I really love you and I want children with you. Didn't understand it at first, didn't want it. But after you know what, you sit down and you talk and you hear him out. I said, Okay, fine. Went to Gaini. Then I said, please refer us for IVF. We did that. And yeah, we're here now. We're going to wow. have baby. I'm going to have to speak to your husband. Because now you am going to have my twins. I'm going to Yeah, it's ah, not yeah. cheap though. Ah, of course. But Come it's on. worth it. Some of us it. have been working for many years. Yeah, so it's but okay. it's worth it. Yeah. And, and you know what? I must say, our, our marriage is not perfect. But it's, it's built with love. Yeah. And that's the most important thing. A lot of people can say whatever they want to say about us, but he's my pillar. Like, he's the one that said, don't. Don't listen to people. Don't do that. Continue. Be you. I don't care what people say. Yeah. So at this point in time, we are stronger than ever. Can he, Does he understand, though? 
Yeah, he does. But he has his own gift, which he doesn't want to answer. But, hey. <laughs> but at some point, he will. Yes, cut Yeah. You can't be forced. You know, I believe with a spiritual journey, a calling is something that is very personal. Yeah. You need to understand it first before you seek help. Because... You go seek help when you don't understand. Mm. So you do have those people who actually intentionally lie to people a and lot, just keep on draining lot, your money, right? A lot. There's so many things that you you can do on your own without seeking help from Isangoma. There's so many people I see day in, day out to a point where I don't even say buy the products. I will give you the products because you know why? I want you to use them. I want you to see with the sevens. You are going to be my marketing. A lot of, that is why you won't see me trying to sell a product online. I don't do that anymore. I say work so hard until you don't ever have to introduce yourself. I've done that. But now I don't need to. Now I have so many people who come to me and actually use my products and see. And that's why I give them out for free. Because you must know with the intro that you are using, you can invest in it because there are seven. So I don't need to do that. But then there are people you go to. That's actually which is wrong. Yeah. People should have the right to go back by a kuluma name denye yabo but understand and also the most important thing that people don't understand yeah. that's supposed to direct you mm. to the right place. Yes. And also you need to now be one with your ancestors because you could be at the wrong place and get sick. And you know, normally kobongo or ipulu, which is the ancestral food, edli wa yo epetreni, besi yakula, and you don't understand why. It's because uzleti le abaktu melang, and people don't understand that. Mm. And how's the journey been for you? It's it's rough. People talk, but I'm at a point where I don't care what you say about me. I, I now I'm at a point where I put the people that come to me first, the people that come and seek help, the people that understand my products, the people that understand my methods of working. I put those people first. That is why when somebody talks bad about me on social media, I don't cry anymore. I need you because I can't show off towards the people that have supported me, but I can show off to you the hater. Because you can see my growth. Mm. You can see what God and my ancestors are doing for me. And Because that's why you won't hear people talking about sevens or whatever. So I, I need those people to continue hating. Because those are the people that I'm working hard to prove points to. Did it used to hurt you? It used to hurt. It used to hurt to a point where you read things and we as us go see you are not this person. Mm. But why am I being painted with this brush? To a point where I would cry, my husband would be like, no. No, you are not going to allow people to do this to you. I had a point where I wanted to just delete social media. Gandhi, that's where your money is. <laughs> that's where your future is. That's I where your gold I, mine is. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't take it. But, nah. any, but manje. Those are just words on a phone, man. And at, because this is the thing. They've got data, they've got a phone, they can say whatever they want to say. And they know at the end of the day, you can't, not that I can't touch them. I can. But I can't invest my time. I make sure their life is a living hell. No, which is very possible. What do you mean you can't touch them? I can. You know, people don't understand one thing. You comment under my page, ne? you talk nonsense about me. I go into your page. I've got your full names. I've got your picture. Right. That alone, your full names and your picture. No muti. Na masimba. Na whether I'm using cat poo, dog poo, whatever. I can do a lot of things to you. If you have imitate right, the right herbs, you can do a lot of things, a lot of damage 
just from somebody saying a stupid comment, which maybe they were saying it because they were following the pack of being negative towards a person, but because Leo comment looks shy differently. I could just do that. I just print out your picture. I've got your full names. I've got Imiti. And I've got time at night because when you are sleeping. And also, look at you, you can comment on that. You can comment on that. You can believe in my life. It's so easy for me to do whatever I want. I got to do nothing. Nothing. But you see, that's why you need to say, you can't invest so much time into looking on what you can invest so much time into looking on what you can do. Okay, so I have 10 people. Yeah. And so about seven yeah. zips. It's so much time. There's bigger things to focus on. Bona Labo Banto Bakuluma Lezo Zinto are people that are going through a lot. Mm. A lot. Because that's where you develop hate. Because Ubonuguti, this person is doing better than you. The best way to interact is by giving them hate. Because you don't understand why when God and Namadu Zoka Bakin Zeli is in to is fananeza by Yabantuan. It's because you are you you develop hate. And at the end of the day, you speak ill. I believe in the power of the tongue. That is why in the mornings when I wake up, I've got affirmations. I, I speak to myself. And I believe Guti, what you say to the universe is what you will attract. I'm a big person with energies. And you know, when you're busy saying all these bad things to a person and you think good lawyer muntagana madlos, as we sit here, everybody here on a madlos. Yeah. Tam which way namadlos why cause the tando um kulume the way of um kula call. Oh yeah, the lesson does it. No, they won't. Because minamang patang inti bonke abang kulumakabi. Bonke abang fisela obubi. Magbuyele gubo. Ten times. Makshaye bon. Bang aso di misebenz. Mina ang funu kuna. Bang aso di misebenz. Kisa kai kana. Bon. Atsa wanga to misebenz. Kai kana. Bon na bantu ga. Mina. Mina mang pata ang naskat niya niya kisa bon. Ngaba ngugenzen. Yes. Why must you come after me like that? Why if anong kumsugmes? Who ang kalil? People and it's funny on 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 social media when you retaliate. You're wrong. Who started? Mm. Who started? I must be the bigger person. I must look the other way. I must give it to God. God has a lot of problems. Why must I make him <laughs> yeah. your problem as well? <laughs> no. And then now I'm, I'm a true, now that I believe and now that everything that I've seen, I've seen a lot of things. A lot. And even, I think it's two weeks ago, that's how much you some zim. What I saw there is affirmation with him. What I saw there is affirmation with him. We are seven. I've seen a lot of things and I believe with me. I want to say that 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 I want So you comment in saying whatever. Ananda. Yes, I want to say I also have a way of dealing with it. You have a way of dealing with me. I have a way of dealing with you. Simple. The process of you getting initiated coming from the US, not to Buya like I. How was the process? How difficult? How easy was it? <sighs> oh, wow. What did you have to go through? For me, that's what I mean. Like, we cheese. We steady. Steady, mommy, this. In hurling her manner in Santon. Like we moved from Zimbabwe to Wabana Habare, but Basebeleza to escalate in life. My yeah. parents did that. Basebeleza, they worked hard, eh? Nkulele in Zimbabwe. That's why I need to don't let the accent fool you. Gaisha in Pam. I know how to defend myself. So Nkulele in Zimbabwe from Zimbabwe and Amuvela, deep through phase three. From phase three, I moved to Hurlingham Manor in Santon. And then from Santon, moved to Mondio when my parents split ways. My dad stays in Santon, my mom went to Mondio. And from there, my dad bought a, he's got homes in Hartis. And at the end of the day, it was difficult for me now to say, somebody's doing that for me, you know? And now it, it I had to change. I had to become that's how I saw it. I get it at the time. Mabu kabela fana go menzel, fana go menzel lugusha, fana go kaze easy. Just like fana go oh, you know, you must wash his clothes, which 
that's how some people see it. I don't do that to my initiates. I don't need, my initiates are not there f to do those things for me. But that's how I felt. Was, but how did you know also which Kobera to go to? Okay, Uba Blue, to Gansha Tigazamin, Mabuyangam Tet, Kobera Wam. But before Gingena Escopen, Bengim Hamba, hence I said, Uguzi, Uma Mami, Stone Christian, my dad, Idlos. And throughout Isinto Business, Agalem Pilonyami, I was working for. <laughs> For an Indian man, may his soul rest in peace. And he introduced me to Ubabluv. Ubabluv, because he does Uktunisa, Omuzwag. And in Gimche, you know what? I mean, I have problems. Ipsuk, Anglal. Like, I, I, have you ever been scared to sleep? You're scared to switch off your lights. You don't understand what is going on. To a point when you look up in the ceiling, you feel like something is actually watching you. And that's how I, w I actually started communicating with Uko Belawam. And he was like helping me go through those things, you know? And then um, when I left, when I left, I went to New York, I came back and then now it was time for me to, to do something about my calling. I went back to him. He was the first person to see Uko in Inayo. Isipo, right? So I'm sure you told your parents first. Yes, I did, yeah. obviously. There was no way I could now ningene into something that I don't know. And at the time, to me, it was just a no-go area. And then my dad said to me, okay, fine. Let us go to another healer in Pumalang, right? Mm. Let us go find out. Uti, gempela lezi into and which is one thing that people need to actually start doing don't go to one sangam and start doing whatever they are saying do yeah go to somebody else and then don't tell them anything and here we so my dad took me somewhere else he told me exactly and you need to do something. And I said, okay, what does that mean? As you even know, it's to a point you would see when you're mad, you want to kill someone. When you're mad, you want to burn down the house. You've got rage. When we are into by just talking to somebody. So is kwama less or some bisella and a makesha. A banto bagwaz was seven sa imiti to harm other people. A bagwaz bulala, a bagwaz guenza, whether it will be the umkov, will be the mapoes, will be the in. Right? And I was like, oh hell no, I'm not part of that, right? But I knew, you see, one, uh, I'm from Telel, I mean, I have this anger. If I feel like good and tongue against the right, I will hold on to it. And I will say, I don't wish you well. Well, little did I know, Guti 2 and 2 plays together. And then when I went back, you know, my father was there after the consultation, whatever. And he said, okay, fine. I'm going to give you time to think about it. You need to tell me what steps do you want to take now? And at the time, I said to him, I don't want to buy a song. Home. I want to live my life. I want to travel. I want to be happy. That's what I want. And I was in and out of failing relationships. Little did I know, didn't want Amato Pamguam. And that's why my relationships ended up in failure. But not, we can't actually blame Amato the only. I'm sure my attitude also <laughs> contributed. And then, you know what? I went back and I said, I don't want to be a healer. Yeah, back, young soup. The only, hence I'm saying, the only reason why I actually accepted my calling, ngahamba ngayopatla, ngapatla lukutu babluvo, ibo uyo ong sizai. But a lot of people will wait for for dreams. Those dreams won't come. Initiate a kovela. Say to amatlozi, nangkumunte ngim tolili, nangkumunte ngim tembayo. Mina angenanga eskupeni ngaba no kovela orong. No. My kovela was begui nyanga enyi hambayo. And he was there for me. He did the utmost right, even till now, yam poop. No man, I'm past and I think yeah, thing we are figuring my pupen, which means good. See, you the connection is still there. So, I'm going to go to my past and I see, okay, fine, 
I long for the cool and corner, and waited for that. I don't And you know what? Let me just go. Anything to save my kids. I would do anything for my children. That's why I always say, you can come after me with everything. But when you start including my kids, that's when you want to see with Umama wins. And I went in a petrol and could not be Ukuka. Because remember, being in Hamba Loba, man, just saying in Biza, in Titoza Baba, Ulambi Lababa, Niwa Samapai Baba. And I felt like now I'm somebody's slave. Until I actually spoke to myself and I said, I know why I'm here. My child is going to be okay. But mind you, I did all that for a year. Came out of Petrin. My child was still sick. Also, oh, your child was sick? Yes, he had epilepsy. But he was sick every week. Every week, Mason was having an attack. Yes, he's still sick now, but he hasn't had an attack maybe for two years, three years. It, it's much better than what it was. But I couldn't because I wanted to save my child. Like how you find Izang or Mamanji. Because they think this is a money making scheme. Even after I came back, Mason was still sick. And that's what made me Valindumbayam. I did this to save my child, but he's still sick. Then that means, why? Why did I bother? Why did I go through all of that? Uvuga, Epsugu, Kwazi Lozi, Ulipuzu, Hambe, Ungeinyaw. Why did I do that if my child is still sick? I felt like this is, there's no point. And I closed my Ndumba. But the minute I closed my Ndumba, I lost everything. I lost my job. I lost my place. My car broke down. I couldn't afford to fix it. I'm a very proud person. I don't come from a poor background. Any day I could have asked my parents, assist. <laughs> we were going to see a hustler. He hustler me. To a point where I was now doing events. I was at, you know, clubs trying to organize things, trying to run events. I was selling clothes from China. There's so many things that I was doing because, I'm, I'm, like, for one, I believe that my parents, it's wrong. You decided to take that decision. You must man up or woman up for it. And obviously, the kids of my father is very absent. I don't have a problem with that because I dealt with that. And I'm okay with that. But it was difficult. But I'm here now. And I'm not saying that I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that my work is growing. And I've taken this to a different level. When did you start to say, I'm going to take it public and now I'm not going to be afraid of this. I'm going to open <laughs> social media and get myself out there. Mind you, let me tell you. And love of a food and peace, a bang peace, a nanda, a bang king of food, you can come with mail and with Lindel. I was the first song on my poster in Nungubani on social media. Nungubani, you gonna, you gonna, you scoop in layman's terms. I was the first song woman who said, fine. Fanege manje uli eni, asanga neno maweni. Uli eni ya was gwenzi maji. Maweni agagaz. So I must implement things that will make me be who I want to be. And also, mang part, till today I still say it. Kuti nfuna ugutu misa ikamalenu. Uguti umundi maga ngbona azu uti gubani. Na manje mang part, I still say it. I still say, Gifunu Tuma. Because Lian wanted greater for her life. Maweni had to provide for that. So I said to myself, they can come, they can swear. I'm doing it. And I did it. And that was the platform. Social media was a platform to putting Musebenz Wame out there. Hence, I'm saying at this point, I don't need social media. I need the people that come to Indumbayam to go back there and talk about the things that, the changes that they see. Emma Lozin Wabo. Mwaba in to a zayo. He meets the Angupayona to be able to align yourself with your ancestors. But the people that bless you are your own ancestors. It's not my ancestors. Naming Abuzi Lozlam Gutia, Senians and Manch. Yeah. 
everybody na madlos but there's always that blockage there's always something whether fane ukuhlambulula wena whether uhambe walala nomuntu wrong or whether uthwele lo yomuntu usebenza isimithi uthatha inkandla zabantu and that blocks you just by giving you a few herbs ukuthi you must steam bath palaze izinto zakho zivuleke that's my job my job is to empower you with things that will help you connect with your ancestors but the gifts are from your ancestors not mine so people don't understand how i work and it's okay i don't need you to understand the people that i need to understand are the people that come seeking help from me the people that want to have connections with their ancestors through me those are the people that i'm worried about but social media yes i put those things i am the one i'm actually one of the big reasons why young people today are embracing ubunyanga ba me whether they like it they don't i know i don't need your affirmation i know i'm the reason because i showed ubunyanga in a different side kulumisingis alaza kulumisingis everybody was going on mani maka hlahlo bo hlahlo bangani ke singis little do they know ke makhotse ke msutho ke mufukeng ke poka why hake hake lahla di taula mhlahlobange zulu usomzulu mimi but isingu kulahlela mathambo manje ngiyoqhuba indaba ngesizulu i'm not silly i'm sweet to you i i don't know where that comes from but it's there so which is another affirmation which ngempela idlozi likho and then the fame started coming I wanted the thing. I won't <laughs> lie to you. I wanted it. Why yeah. else would I pass up and say ngifunuk to miss ikamalako? I wanted the fame. But I wanted the fame through spirituality mm. because now I needed to put the two together. I needed to show ukuthi fine ngisa ngoma but at the same time I'm also Lian and Lian wants the fame. Ma when he just needs to make sure ukuthi izinto zakhe ziyasebenza. And that's where we at. Oh, I mustn't say only my way because I've got three different ancestors about Peter Iskwam. Okay. Which is Umaweni ushobala inkomo nodabula maf. Umaweni ushobala inkomo nodabula maf. Yes. Okay. So Umaweni we kedla. Sikhoma sakhe simnyama. Umaweni uthanda herbs, you know. Mina amadlozwa amabaza ke bangibonisa izinto, bangibonisa through dreams herbs different herbs amakedla lawo makedla abafuna ukudelela very strong ancestors in a sense yokuthi in the olden days amakedla bewangathwaseki bengingqana umuntu oya entwasweni orongena ephehleni azogedla but because we live in a society or in a generation now you don't have loyo babu mkhulu who's going to teach you kuthi na imofaya mawiphuze sokupha i energy uzufuka uzuba right you know you don't have that grandfather so now you need to now trust in somebody who's going to teach you the right things and in teaching you awaken the spirits to be able to connect with you mabu ngingene phehlweni ungaphuphi you must know there's something wrong ngingene phehlweni udli gobongo ugula you must know there's something wrong you must know ukuthi mawungene endumbeni mawulahla mathambo and ukobela sihlahluba awubambi nix there's something wrong idloza alivuki which means ukuthi la ungene khona ungenele endaweni e wrong laba ngakuthumelanga khona so when the fame came i had to embrace it and i had to think ukuthi this is something whatever i'm doing is something i believe in right i believe in this and in believing in this i stand behind it i'm a brand and ubungoma bami is a brand that is why i once said you see this is a career for me this is not something jeng zoyenza and forget about it i'm taking this to a different level when the fame came i wanted the fame i wanted to push ubungoma through the fame and that's what's been happening now and unfortunately there's some bullets that we have to fight they come back and fight us like the chicken fiasco <laughs> you know this morning what's with the chicken fiasco no i i i did on the reality show that we did with moja love right yeah i went and i did a ritual in matunen yeah and that ritual needed a, a live black chicken okay so after feeding the chicken imiti 
you know, there are certain things that you are supposed to do. And they said that I killed the chicken inhumanely, not understanding which certain things are for TV. Who said so? SPCA. SPCA? Yeah, so that... <laughs> so... <laughs> My face. Okay, so SPCA came, at you, came knocking at your door for a ritual you did on a reality show. Yes. I killed the chicken. Well, they didn't come knocking at my door. They called, bombarded me with calls. Unfortunately, the number they were calling is my assistant's number. Yeah. Uh, not realizing, we see, they were not calling my personal number. And then I then told my assistant, please provide them with Simpia Majola's number, which is my publicist. Shout out to Simpio Macho on the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he then handled the matter. They came back. I know they rocked up at the gates at this one point. I'm a bang for Nela, but the people from SPC are like, but how? Because I told them I'm going to Kenya. I travel a lot. Um, the whole point is, after reading the email this morning, is that they are actually going to pursue legal matters because how I killed the chicken was inhumane. How and did you kill the chicken? I just have to say. <laughs> it's okay. There's nothing wrong. I mean, who cleans and cook? Everybody cleans us. No, I did not. I did not. I threw it in there. So what did you do? You, you threw it in the sky? I threw it in the air. Well, they say that I poked it with needles. But they can't prove that I poked it with needles because the, that was not shown on TV. I just explained the ritual. Okay. Meaning, you see, I was explaining into Bengi and Zalapo. I explained the ritual. I didn't, they didn't see me. Yamana, if they were going to come with a clip saying, Guti, they saw me in Tata Inali Tinki Faga, then I would understand. So they are working on my explanation in the diary session when I was telling them what was supposed to happen. And afterwards, I swung the chicken and I let it go. I did say, Guti, Jawabangienza, the ritual, whatever I'm doing to this chicken will happen to the person. And then, you know, they came. But then again, to me, I respect what they're saying. That is their, their word and whatever else. But I feel as if they're using my name as a platform because SPCA, who, who knows anything about SPCA? Maybe, you know, they should be funded more. They should be creating more awareness. It should be. I know I went once to go adopt a, a dog at the SPCA. People were so rude. But anyway, we're not here for that. But you know, for a fact, you could see if you're going to do something with my name, it's going to train. You're trying to create awareness. Ask me nicely. Maybe I'll do a campaign with you guys. But at the end of the day, I was doing my work. You didn't see me do those things. You heard me explaining. Namanjang, I explain. Where am I causing any harm? Even that whole scene, Ngambang, your sevens are itun. I was trying to teach people. Bogitun al Gaban. It's my great grandfather. Oh, okay. But I was teaching people. Oguti, mau ngana gegeli, abantu mbabe sabahambi. People can come and do things to labo bantabale. And, you know, instead of people seeing it in a positive manner, some saw it in a negative, which is. Given, not everybody is going to love you, which I don't have a problem with. Yeah. I mean, I see my nobody, not everybody that I bump into is going to love who I am and how I do things. So yeah, you know, there, there's some bullets that we need to take and say, oh, okay. So, but they've achieved it because now it says Kulumanga, <laughs> you know, and probably somebody is going to tweet about it as well. They can tweet away. I guess I gave them a platform now. Yeah. Uh, and now I guess they're going to push up the legal part. Maybe they're going to take this clip now also and even push some more engagement. No, it's fine. I don't <laughs> have a problem. Yeah, but I mean, I'm one person. I believe I'm strong. I'm yeah. a strong black woman. And I say that with everything that I have, every bone that I have in this body, I'm a strong black woman. Are you going to do it like it? So whatever they want to do, or whoever that wants to do, whatever, but I will always come out on top because one, I believe in God. Two, I believe in my chosen one. I believe good season kids in doing kids and I've been done for a reason. So when I, who is sitting on your couch or sitting wherever, 
you feel Luguti, you can you know ridicule me or say things about you're not you're not gonna gain anything let's talk about the ritual is there a difference between a white chicken and a black chicken yes there's a big difference what's the but difference uh, people t- tend to think Luguti, using a black chicken is only for bad things it's not a black chicken is a benzisa uklambulula amazos. Do you understand? A black chicken, yes, when I say benzisa uktagata umund. So it's vice versa. In kukem shope, see, in general, but um shope. What is purity? We're channeling good energy, we're doing good things. So, mouse benzisa in kukem shope, oya sambulula. So, yes, but also maulasa ilzos. I mean, ulasa is one. Then you use impange, like when you clip, black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So each chicken stands for something. Um, all of them have a different meaning, a different method of using them. And you know, unfortunately for SPCS, Zangomasikona Smiles Baninki. Trust me, every day there's a chicken dying. Mm. You can't stop us. Maybe they can stop me. <laughs> I don't think so. Nobody can stop you. <laughs> no. You've inspired a new generation of young Sangomas right now. How does that make you feel? I'm happy that people are embracing what I could not embrace freely. I could not embrace Ubungoma freely, meaning with Mangene, Epeshwene. I didn't feel like this was what I was called to do. I felt like this is what I'm forced to do because I want my child to be okay. So I'm happy now to see a lot of young people and a lot of people who speak good English, a lot of people who are well-mannered, meaning, Guti, you are not forced to do this. You know, Guti, Ushupaizos, and you need to do this. And uh, people who are doing these things that are, are come from good backgrounds, no, Guti, they're not doing it to make money out of people. They're not doing it to crook and con people. Because you hear their stories, really? Yeah. But it's nice to see people embracing where they come from. Because we are Africans. We must have our own culture. We must have our own roots. We must understand. Yes, we know there is God. But there's also Amadlus. It's a good thing. I, I'm, I'm happy. It's just that some people, you know, are doing it and, and lying to people and we can't call them out because the minute you call them out that you're a hater hey, right? that's why you're a hater siabuga siabuga especially tiktok ngene tiktok mo 12 bon kutsi kwenza kalani bantu bayahlahluba ku tiktok bayenza abanye babeki imali yeah mina nyasebenza idlozi idlozi lakho i tiktok angithi bathi mawuthwasile i idlozi lakho yilo elifanele lokulethela abantu esikhupheni it took took ubege imali, and then tell people who say I can assist you. Go on TikTok at twelve o'clock and see what people are doing. Yes, I understand you want to teach, teach, but don't come there with money, and show people who say mini loslami ling yenze la so. Mina, when I break, I break because you want me to break. I don't break because I want you to come to my Ndumba. No. You, if you look at and Nakona, it is wrong because you know when my parents see that I'm not I'm, I'm I'm not happy about that. Hence, even when the fight started, I stopped and I could not respond. I wanted to. What do you mean fight? Hush. Or do you beef with other people? No, 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 no. Somebody Sorry. was beefing with me. Oh, okay. In your profession, right? Yes. Uh, you've hosted this person. I won't mention the name. My no, husband. don't mention the name. My husband's going to. Because I, I host a lot of people, mm. sure. Yeah. And I'm okay you know, with everyone, but I don't like beefs. Yeah. So, you know, when she retaliated, I could not respond. And I didn't respond because I fear her or I, 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 hold, like I hold her highly or whatever her presence. No, I didn't respond because and if I was Bambati, you don't do this. I'm not going to do it. I understand. And that's why I didn't respond. That is why I'm saying with the people are more quick to, you know, to, I don't know, whether we say emphasize on what you think is bad, but the good nobody talks about. I do a lot of charity work. It's only now recently when I did charity work for 30 kids, then I got hyped, but I'm not doing it for the hype. What I'm saying is when you do good, 
people don't talk. Yeah. But when there's bad involved, people want yeah. to amplify it, want to make it something that is so big. Now who's just who's who say I pay like until end. So it's just now. Yes, we've got young girls and boys, but 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 there are other people, and about Taliban, old men go on TikTok and see old men holding this Takanyana sa sa stock fairly sa twenty thousand auto or yeah I've got this money to one five hundred come to wherever call me wherever why but then again we cannot talk because Malkuluma you are jealous I understand and you you've achieved so much success and congratulations for that you're going overseas now. And yeah. I, I hear that you're opening a traditional spa. Let's talk about yes, that. Yes, I'm opening a traditional spa. Congratulations. What is a traditional spa? And tell us about it. I'm taking Ubinyanga to a different height. In a sense, you I'm bringing Ubinyanga to Santon. Um, you know, a beautiful home where you know Ubinyanga lights a one-stop shop. Your palace is Your futa. Okay, unfortunately, you was a person. The minute it sounds on my ET, I sound the seal pass as Pasha Major's work, you must know already. Every home is governed by its own ancestors, and once it's governed and protected by those ancestors, it is impossible for you to get it. They won't. So, there's certain things that people won't be able to do on the property because there are people that we meet who will say, I can't do this at home, my husband won't approve, yeah. or my wife won't approve. So we said, you know what, let us end that. Let us have a whole building where people can actually come, they've got their own private space, buy a footer in their own comfort zone, and then we are palazza in their own comfort zone, Napa, they're being massaged with traditional herbs. Wow, also there's a spa. Yes, there's a spa. And there's massages as well. Yes, especially for Bantu, Abashupa, Matambo, Bashupa, Yinyawo, Bashupa, Yizinto. On their body, they're being massaged in Alemitile. Yeah. You hamba your treatment. But your treatment is provided from the premises. There's a store where all the products are there. There's crystals. I'm opening up Obunyanga in a different way. You know, there's a medium. There's Isangoma. There is people who use tarot cards. There's people who use crystals. We want to broaden up. We want to unite spirituality under one roof. It hasn't been done before. And why I chose Santon is because there's people, my target, not even my target, my people come from the north. Unfortunately, we can't name names, but <laughs> my people come from the north. And every time they come, it's, oh, I'm a win. It's always a drive. And you know, there are those special people, or you no, know, everybody's actually special, so let me not say special people. There are people, unfortunately, they can't be with me while there's clients. Because clients also now, but sometimes, a funuk recorder, the subona into goes viral. So, you know, you need to make it private. Who's in that other room? When's that? Because you didn't see. Also, so you do get clients who get starstruck sometimes. Yeah, I do. And sometimes they, they want to. <laughs> they want to take pictures, but yeah. now I get. I also help. I help a lot of public figures as well. Oh. Yes. So you got a lot of public figure clients. No, I do. I do. Okay. Shame, and I love. Nice. I love every time I see them getting work. Every them celebrate. I love that, and that is not my work. That is their own ancestors showing off because they've done one two three i love that i don't want to lie but unfortunately you know they can't come on a tuesday because mm. you know a video and it's trending somewhere yeah. now it, it's as if i have went out and said which is not mm. the case so with having the the premises the home nobody will know who what whoever is doing on the other side I mean, it's, it's a big house, it's a mansion. Every <laughs> yeah. room, there's something going on. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking it to a different level. So you've got a market that now relates to you. And I, and I like the fact that you, in 2023, there's people like you that at least people in the north, they can relate to certain people. No, trust me. As you were saying earlier, which it was associated with, you know, 
trust me and even you know, a lot of people will think I need to speak to me good thing. Gum tagat. Be Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, no, it was a, it, it went viral. Singa tagat hamina. I'm a bad healer. I'm putting ubungoma on a different. <laughs> I'm putting, I'm painting a bad brush for ubungoma. Number one, who opened up the door, darling? Me. How can I put the one thing that I love? The one thing that I know, the one thing that I invest my time and efforts in. Bega imitia mingi seven zisai. Mitia too with my husband and it comes from different countries. Hence we are going to Hong Kong. We want to find other ways of healing things. People's bones, people who are suffering from arthritis, high blood pressure, whatever. We we are we want that. We want to find other methods of doing spiritual healing because spiritual healing doesn't only fall fall under ubungoma and that's what people don't understand so if you don't understand how i work that means you are not the person that's supposed to come and see me what about the people that are supposed to come see me but to me they will understand me so you've got three spots in Joburg now yes you've got one in kzn We've got one in case, and then you've got the fifth one that you're opening. That's the mansion. That's the big. That's the head office. That's when is that launching? Oh, don't put pressure on oh, okay, us. Not yet, not yet, not yet, <laughs> don't not put yet. pressure. <laughs> they will know. Yeah. They will know. That's why I'm so quiet. I'm busy. Okay. We are busy. Like I don't want to lie, but busy in a good way, and it gets tiring sometimes because besides being. I'm a businesswoman, I'm a wife, I'm a mother. Mm. I'm also a mother to Amatoa Sawam. Hence, I, I, you know what? I told myself this last group, this group is my last group. Not to go to I will never go to again. I just want to take a break. How I long? I don't sleep. People are going to be able to get a No, but I'm, I'm more than happy to mentor. Meaning, I'm more than happy to help you align your ancestors so you understand. And I think that is better. Because by the time you would understand you will understand you know, these are the things to look out for from a fake gobela or somebody that does not align with your ancestors but is pretending they are helping you. So I actually prefer what I'm about to do. I'm going to mentor people to prepare themselves. Wungena a petrain. How you good singing, see? You are not supposed to come to me. I'm not gonna help. No, I'll still help. Okay. I will still naming to Cecil. Namatwasa that I can also, you know, refer you to. Yes, it doesn't mean you're gonna see me every day, but you are also trusting me in a sense with Mango Puzisa old palace. I will do that. Okay. So, but at this point, I would love to mentor people. I would love to talk about the, the pros and the cons, the do's, the don'ts. What to look out for, how to connect with your ancestors. A lot of people don't even know how to partner. They don't know if they're doing the right way. I'm not saying my way is always right, but it's a start for you to even grow because you need to start somewhere. You need to plant the seed for the seed to grow. So, yeah. And do you still also get mentorship from, from your I Kobela, who trusts my Kobela, you? My Kobela is late. Oh, yes. I he, he, pa he passed on, he but, but uh, Kobela Waake is also still there okay. very present in my life um you know there are other people most of the people that mentor me that teach me are old people okay i will go to an old person who i know for a fact in doesn't fund sayona he writes and nakona angi veleng vugeng ham ya pass ayiko into engi yenza yonga pass because i believe we see to be sitting here right here with you in this seat, it's because I'm a loser for me. So anyone that mentors me and that teaches me, I'm a loser Yes. There's a lot of people that want to do that. And we, unfortunately, when you're desperate, you'll be blinded by that. You know, I still wish people could 
visit me on a good day and not on a bad day. So that we can talk about the good that's happening and what your ancestors and God are doing for you. But you always want to come on a bad day. Why do people wait for the worst to happen and then you want to see a healer? Why don't you come even when the, you know, go right, you are happy. Now you're going to see a healer to make sure, good see, we mend that happiness. Mm. It grows. Everybody wants to, you know, tell you, good see, these bad things are going to happen to you. Mm. They will tell you what you want to hear. That's why I say I wish people would come on a good day. So we can embrace the happiness around your life. Mm, and celebrate the good things that are happening. Yeah, uh, well, unfortunately, we cry a lot in my room. Mm. We cry. I'm very sensitive. A lot of people don't know that. I'm strong, but I'm very sensitive. I break down easily. There's certain things that you hear from clients, especially women. I stand for women. Yeah. I stand for kids. Unfortunately, men, on the other hand, I will break any day if you do wrong. I will. I don't want to lie. <laughs> yeah. I will. Or maybe it's because I've been through so much as a woman. But it is what it is. I'm happy. I'm growing. I'm proud to be who I am. I don't shy away or hide from anything that people say about me. I will embrace it and I will even take it to even higher heights. The show is coming back. When is the show coming back? <laughs> we start shooting. Moja Love has started this thing of, um, you know, airing a, a show for six episodes. Okay. Then they stop and they put another another show for six months. Then they stop. So we are we're busy filming now, and now I'm like, ish guys, but I how wing. But summer this year, ne? Yes, definitely. Before the end of the year, definitely. Because we only have like the last four months, yeah. No, 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 definitely. It's going to get crazy. <laughs> Yo, but you know what? I actually I need to share this moment. I think it was last week, ne? No, last week, Bengio Inisa Umund. This this little boy. I mustn't say little shem. He's 23. Um, oh, shame. In his bed. Yeah. And when they came, they said, No, how is my idea? to sitting at. Okay, sharp. I'm shying troll. I'm not sure to do it. I'm not to do it. I'm not sure to Right? Okay. Ah. This is my fee, and this is what I can do. Open my genus in Fungwenzan. The very same day, money was deposited. Then now, obviously, I need to work. Went to the mortuary the, the, the day. Oh, he died? Yeah, he died. Oh, he shame. was dead. Oh, shame. He was dead. But all the things that I asked them to look out for were there. Mm. I think the day before the actual funeral, went to the mortuary. I think the day before the actual funeral, in fact, if family is okay, it's because the the person needs to connect no muntu om zalai. Let's see, like the mother. I'm telling you, some cases are but kulumenai, um jail. But before we got to that part, I had to check. This person had a chunk of a meat taken out. This person has a volume The tongue was gone. Oh. In Nuele were taken from the back. And you know what? I'm actually mentioning this because that was another affirmation for me. There's been so many things that prove that Nyanga is there. It's real. If you experience someone dying in front of you, you know there's that last breath, that last gulp that comes out. When she started bathing this guy, I'm guessing that I do you know he burped? He burped? He That's why you need to there's, so, there's so many things that will say, you know what? Keep going. Keep pushing this. Keep finding answers. Keep growing. And that happened last week. Sure. He burped. Everybody went. Now he's free. Now he is free. But because Batate is in Tozake, we must make sure. 
ezomvikela ukuthi labantu bangakhona ukusebenzisa lezinto lezi. Basila abantu na? Hayi abantu basila especially if ungazi ukuthi kwenza kala nempilo yakho. Ngikobo ungazazi. That's what people need to understand which you must bath with something. Yes there is God. Yes, you know there's Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit. Keza hlambulula energies are important. Stop inviting everybody to your house. Mm. Stop letting people wear your hair, wear your clothes. Mm. Stop. Okay, sleeping around, maybe that's how your line of business. Make sure you cleanse when you sleep around because you don't know ukuthi ulala nomaweni, umaweni usebenza isimithi. Umaweni ufuna ukuthatha izinhlanhla zabantu. Umaweni ufuna ukuvala isibelo ukuthi ungazali. Guti yonke izinto ezenzekela kuwe all the good things or in gitwele isithwalo sami sihambiselana nokulala nabantu ombazana but there are specific girls that have been instructed ukuthi ngilale nabo labantu ombazana nabo umnikelo kwale nto ngithwale ngayo do you understand which people don't understand we're not living in a world where people don't know these things we are living in a world where people actually go out and want to become richer through these things want to become stronger people don't understand that that is why ngithi ukuthuka umuntu e social media umgwadise to a point ayafuna ukubonisa ukuthi ngubani ubona ukuthi uzoyenza kalani stop looking for problems believe in your life cleanse your life believe in your ancestors and your god and see what happens learn ukuthi uma uphatha ukukhuluma inkinga zakho namadlozi wakho and not uhamba utshela abantu inkinga zakho ngoba these are the very same people abazokuhleba bahlekise bakenza inhlekiso behind your back amadlozi wakho won't do that instead they will hear your cry and understand ukuthi uba konzile and you believe ukuthi yibo bazokukhipha kule nto okuyo and that is empowering your ancestors because you didn't forget them you know they are there people who believe in ancestral things and you know understand them those people are successful because they understand what it is that is required of them to uplift ukuba phakamisa amadlozi ngoba the saying you are gone but not forgotten you should not take that lightly ngoba umaweni uzofika ahlukumeza amadlozi wakho ngoba ubakhotliwe wena People don't understand. Let's talk about your products as thing is Samantha. What products do you have? So I told you about my products. Oh, well, we've got a lot of products, but I'm we've got a lot of products, but I'm more focused on ukhlambulula. Okay. I'm more focused on ukuthi ugeza uhlambulule umuzi wakho. Because a lot of people go buy some women buy your geza. Bacaba ngokuthi isilwane esiphumile. Bese uyabuya. The sleep paralysis, the soul ties, the the sex dreams you having a spiritual husband or wife still affects you it's because you didn't cleanse your home you have to cleanse your home so i you know i believe with you cleanse your home we are shisa mzini we are geza we are palaza we are food then i know for a fact Uti, we have started something here and in you doing those things you know Uti, isn't those cuz you are kind and the only way here is to the top Meaning, ukuthi amadlozi azokwazi ukuthi now ukufika kuwe achazele ukuthi yini bayifunayo. Uma ungifonelwa uthi ubuphe umkhulu athi ufuna Sprite, asambe siye siye sidulwini. Uyomphahla umthelele isiprite if awazi ithuna like. Uma awazi ithuna like hamba uyomthelele ethuneni, but you must remember ukuthi amathuneni asiyi kuyocela, siyobika izinto. So that's where people need to understand different things. But I'm a strong believer now ukhlambulula ngoba that's the only thing that is keeping you from reaping the benefits of your ancestors. We are all born with our own power, but we are then um gifted with powers from the ancestors that have walked this earth. It's to emphasize ukuthi when our way to therefore uzoqhubeka ngale zinto besifuna ukuziyenza. There are people who run businesses. Those businesses don't belong to them. They belong to their ancestors. Kuno babu mkulo or a great grandmother or shone a isfiso sake ugu guba nendao yaki. So the people that are implementing those ideas are madlozo wako. And when you are sleeping on them, that's why isn't those hambazi katal. Your life is not stable. So cleansing yourself ukuhlambulula umuzi wakho ukuhlambulula wena uphalaza on a regular basis ukuphadla very important so my products solely 
are mostly we are we are And then that you use at work because hey, seven and abantu basile. Abantu abazo begela izinto ngoba when you are now a team leader. Abantu abazo abazo they don't like the car you are driving at work or they don't like your husband or they don't like your wife. Therefore, bafunu kugenze izinto zako zi Unfortunately, we have those people. So there are things that I sell with someone as prayer the desk, as lambulule the desk, you know, to make sure that aguna zinto is she well up, aguna zinto evas kaflele, uguti bakumez, u kafulanji. Nafia namen, okay, yes, as we need a part, I'm just, it's just an example. Nafia ni tafun and tafun and tifelelan, in kulumi. You know, mina sang kulumi silum to us lang or glassa conilla, farugu sabenza con. People don't understand those things. That's why I say I am more from Ugusambulula. And obviously, we don't okay? want that we need to teach a lesson. But before we even go through that route, I speak to a client. You don't you think it's better when Ugusambulula is before you can do a back and forth? When we try to don't fight back. Zisambululu ngukini sukine ukini sana mazozwako lomuntu azibuzukuthi why lezinto azenza zingasebenzi u as i said here baninga bangizamayi but by azibuzukuthi why they don't see anything that bad that is happening to me because i'm not focused on kuziphindisela i'm focused on growing my brand growing spirituality so that you can see ukuthi this world is bigger than you and whatever hate you have for me so a lot of my products is ukhlambulula ukcinisa and then obviously is liso I don't believe in it and I say that proudly I don't believe ukuthi you must enforce love on someone I, I don't believe ukuthi you must make somebody love you if a person has shown you who they are the first time believe that believe that why must you now call what is enzo zabo you know I, I even say the first thing that I say to to women and men, because there are men who come for that as well. I said, do you not love yourself? I think that's where the psychology also comes in, because we talk. My consultation goes on for one hour. We are having a conversation. Girl, you need to tell me what is going on with you. Do you not love yourself enough to say this person is not for you? One that's going to support and they gave me my husband. So at the end of the day, yes, this is the corner. This is the seven. I have people, women. <laughs> I, love, I love, I love. Women will come crying. Um cousin would see ascend the so instead of doing as you know, Funa Leon, Ushain, Trolling, Trolly, Vumuguti, is this a servant? Umu Pistis. Week later, she's at the gate. What is wrong? This person calls me every 15 minutes. He's not coming to work with you. Maruya, but I told you. It's Liso basically Guti Umundu Zumlandela. Yeah, I would some time. And you see, you know, unfortunately, I'm a daughter. They have wandering eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not all. I'm not that I have wondering eyes. Or oh, some men. And you know what? People don't want to be cheated on. Especially women. I think as women, we put men on a different pedestal, like this platform. And we shouldn't have to do that. A relationship shouldn't be about idolizing a man. A relationship should be about two people loving each other, growing and making sure and they're protected. But you find women who will cry because he didn't answer the phone or he's cheating, he's sleeping with somebody. We young tell fine. And I'm not saying it's it's okay for a man to do that. It's not. But I want you to look at yourself. Where is the love? Where's the self-love? Why must you enforce Uglisa in daughter? It's a bony seal. Who's going to make another woman happy outside? I mean, why? That is why I'm, I say, I would rather break you than make you love me. I would rather strip you of things than make you love me. I will never, I'm sorry. But there are women that come for that, and I don't judge them. Because I talk them through everything. 
before we get to that process as if we are having counseling. Because you need to know who you are in this life as a woman. Are you able to reverse it? Like, let's say, unfortunately, unfortunately, no. So Until until the woman ends up abdamping or something. Which is the sad part that I don't understand. Only to dump them at, at some point. Or yeah. only to cheat and be free and live a different life. Why do it in the first place? I'm not saying that women are, are the only people that go through bad. Men also go through bad. Especially and reversing it on my side, the only way I can reverse it is if or if what is crocodile in Zulu? Somebody help me. Um, I, 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 no, no, no. I, Inguenya, yeah. Inguenya, Inguenya, yeah, Inguenya. so Gune, there, there's, Inguenya, there's yeah. specific parts from the crocodile that you can eat. Maybe you could cook for him and feed it to him. I don't know. Okay. I'm interested to now get into a deeper conversation the next time we sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand and I appreciate you. Go to Uzela now. This is during the week. I know, you know, and it's my first because I'm open on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for consultations. Yeah. And Friday, Saturday is cleanses, river days. And sometimes I need to be in Durban as well because we travel a lot. We're traveling now to Hong Kong, and the travel is solely to find immunity that will help people on a different level. Mm. So, yeah. I'm so proud of him, Dan Sekaya. Unkulunkula Gbusi se Mabakany Sabapanzi Magwande. Maglung and Magpope. Already glung in the Magwilling is you know. Yes, it's all it's all I'm looking at houses because we've got a lot of property, eh? believe it or yeah. not. And I'm Congratulations, must, I must say this as a black person in South Africa, I owe no bank, no money. Yo. You see me driving a Range Rover? No, I, it was bought cash. Yo. You see me in different houses? No, it was I owe Yo. no bank. <laughs> I don't owe any bank money. Yo. It's because I hustle, I work, I save, and I say la uyas ninja, la in in. But yeah. But the same back goes back to you. Please. 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 And sometimes we also don't know each other, you know? We all see each other on social media. So finally, I've, I've gotten to meet you, and I hope this is the first of many more times. Please, anytime. Yeah, anytime. Well. Maybe this the next time, you'll tell me, this is what I, what I want us to talk about, and I come with it. And I open and I unpack everything from my side that I know. Yeah, the next time will be when we open our... When we trend for witchcraft. When we open our new studio. <laughs> we trend for... Oh, I'm about to buy and jalo, No, well, but anyway, yeah. it is what it is. No, it is what it is. Man. It is what it is. <laughs> Guys, see you all. Thank you for sitting with us. It was beautiful to learn and meet Ukoko Maweni. I'm looking forward to learning more and knowing her and growing our relationship and um, breaking bread whenever we can. And just seeing her grow and rise and help more people. Nyabo. More fire. Thank <laughs> <laughs> <Yay! laughs>